Hi, this is Nick with Load Cell Central, and today we'll be taking a look at the K-Log LC2 Load Cell Tester. The K-Log LC2 calibrator functions as a load cell tester, simulator, and indicator used to display force measurements. It is portable, featuring a handheld enclosure protected by a robust rubber boot and a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. It measures approximately 6 inches long, 3 inches wide, and about 1.5 inches in depth. The device is provided with a calibration certificate, plastic carrying case, and micro SD card for data logging. It also includes a set of alligator clips for connection with the banana plug at the top of the unit. Additional connections are made via the terminal block above the LCD display. This terminal block serves several purposes depending on the functions being used. Testing a load cell is very simple. Using the documentation provided with my load cell and K-Log LC2, I have attached this S-Type load cell, our XTS4, to the unit. Once connected, I could begin the load cell test. After 30 seconds, the results are displayed. By comparing these values to the specifications listed on my load cell certificate, I can determine that this load cell is in good working order. The second test concerning load cells is called test insulation. This test uses a 50 volt signal to measure the resistance between the housing or body of the cell, the wheatstone bridge, and the shield wire. These values should always read more than 1000 megohms. Lower values indicate insulation leaks. These leaks are typically caused by water ingress or high voltage surges like lightning or welding. This test requires that the shield wire is connected as well as an additional cable connected to the load cell's housing. The measure millivolt test provides an alternative to multimeter measurements by allowing us to measure the millivolt return signal from the load cell. This requires that the load cell is provided an excitation voltage from another device. This excitation voltage can be measured by the unit or a 10 volt fixed value can be set. Source millivolts work similarly to the measure millivolt test but we are sending a millivolt signal out to a device for testing purposes. This functionality allows the K-Log to behave as a load cell simulator, reducing the number of devices needed in the field. Configuring the test allows us to send a specific millivolt value and read the target weight on our device. This number can be compared to that of the indicator or electronics to determine if the unit under test is damaged or needs recalibration. The source milliamp test sends a milliamp signal to devices with analog input cards. It could be simpler to configure or test PLC systems using this method instead of using a load cell and signal conditioner. This solution is quicker and much more repeatable. The load cell display selection allows us to completely configure the K-Log as a load cell indicator. In the setup screen, we can set the K-Log to provide a fixed 5 volt excitation. We can also set the millivolt per volt, decimal point, increments, zero, span, and force units. Filters as well as zero and span trim adjustments are also available. Once these are set, we can enter the load cell display and begin using this device as an indicator. The K-Log is capable of data logging to the included microSD card. Under data logging, we can set file names, descriptions, and intervals. In order to create a log file, we must set the proper start and end times for our test, then enter the load cell display screen. This will automatically create our file and log for the duration selected. Once our CSV file has been saved, we can open it in Microsoft Excel where we can perform data analysis. The K-Log settings screen allows configuration of auto power off, language, backlight, sound, contrast, and date time settings. The help screen provides wiring information for these tests, and the convert screen provides a calculator to convert between different force units. The K-Log LC2 is a powerful troubleshooting tool to have in any toolbox. For more information, please contact our sales team via phone or email.